Hi everybody and thanks for joining. Here's a look at the final product that I'll be showing you how it was assembled. When the learner makes a choice, we want to trigger three pieces of motivational feedback, including a scoring slider that mirrors a real-world rating system in the healthcare industry. The first thing that appears is some verbal feedback from our doctor. Note that his expression also changes, as does the position of our STARS ratings on the very bottom. What I'd like you to remember is how this is done, rather than thinking of this file as a template. This demonstration is meant to teach you how, in Storyline, you can provide motivating feedback in your e-learning. How you bring the process to life in your specific course is totally up to you. So now let's take a look at the source file. Notice first that we have our character with a neutral expression as the default. The first thing we did is click on Edit States and created a new state that corresponds to the choice buttons. In each state, we change his expression under the expression panel that appears when you double click on him. Notice that I labeled each state to match the interface choice button so it would be easier to match them up later when we associated them. The choice ovals are simply shapes that we labeled. There's nothing fancy about them. The callout bubbles were each created to correspond with the choice in facial expression. The most important part of this is that their initial states must be set to hidden. We don't want them appearing until the user makes a choice in this case. And like most feedback, we want to be in control of when and how much we give to keep the user interested in our game or our story. The component to our motivational interaction is the slider on the bottom. I pick stars to represent a 1 to 5 rating system with 1 being the worst and 5 being the best outcome. There's nothing special about them, and they contain only one layer for each state. The worst to best rectangle is also a single state object with no additional coding applied to it. Finally, we have the motivational arrow that is the key to this object animation. In its normal state, we have it resting at rating 3. As you can see, we've created additional states where we move its position down to 1 and 2, or up to 4 and 5 based on the learner's selection of our choice bubbles. Okay, so that's all of our objects in their states and layers to get us started. Now what we need to do is click on each choice oval and create triggers that change the speech bubbles, expressions, and of course the starting ratings on our slider. For example, when we choose oval 1, the very first worst option in our interaction, we change our character state to the worst choice state and he gives us a stern frown. We then want to create a new trigger to change the pointer to move to star position number one, our worst rating at the same time. And finally, we want to create a trigger that changes our chat bubble from its hidden state to the normal state for worst choice feedback. Notice that we must also create triggers to set the other chat bubbles to hidden so we don't get more than one bubble showing up when the learner moves from choice to choice. So that's the basic te technique that you would apply to each of the four choice bubbles to complete this little interaction sequence. I hope you've learned something today, and thank you again for joining. We'll see you next time.